<laughs> Let's try and slice you, yes. So if you slice like this way, you can decapitate him. And just eat him. <laughs> oh man. What's up guys, it's your boy Dan, and oh man, it has been a hot minute since we've had a gameplay on this channel. And what better game to kick it back off with The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners the trial. Now if you're not aware of what the trial mode is, this is a free update that came to Saints and Sinners for the Oculus Quest platforms just a few weeks ago. And it's a classic horde mode where you fight waves and waves of zombies and you have to like craft melee weapons, craft guns, craft for different ammunition and also scavenge for different food items. I had so much fun playing this gameplay and I hope you enjoy it too. I'll see you on the other side. Let's go! All right, here we are back into the world of The Walking Dead. Now we have the trial mode, and as you can see here, there are three different maps. Now I'm not sure if they're gonna bring any more apps in the future, they probably will do. Um, I've played this once, as you can see, there's my high score. Not that very good, but let's see if we can do something better. So I'm gonna go for Memorial Lane for this one. And there's two different difficulties to start, and I'm gonna stick with the standard one. Just because, you know, I don't want to embarrass myself on camera like I've done in some other games. Say Five Nights at Freddy and uh, Eleven Table Tennis, but let's see how we get on here. Alright, so immediately you're in the map and you can choose to start the next wave by there. Um, we'll do that later. Here on this board we have different perks and such that you can have. So as you can see, you can get a bow and arrow. Um, we can get different bombs or med packets and such. Here in the middle we have some melee weapons. You always start off with this nice rusty screwdriver. So I'm going to keep that in here. Uh, anything that's green is what you can afford. So as you can see if I grab this backpack, you've got bike coin. Not bitcoin, bike coin. So with bike coin you collect the bike coin after each wave. So depending on how many walkers you've killed or how you've killed them, headshots, etc., you get more and more points. And then you can choose to spend it on different uh, weapons. So I'm going to start with one of these. It ain't Lucille, but it's um, it will do with the rusty nails. Uh, and then on here there's a few more weapons and there's some ammunition. So once again in the green uh, you can you can buy with your Bitcoin you can afford. So let's start off with the first wave. Now the first wave is pretty simple. Also to note you can start waves like that but then after the first wave is done there's like a timer that will go off. Okay let's get the rusty screwdriver here. Yep. And boom. Oh no. Nice. So you can see the issue with melee weapons, and don't worry, don't get me wrong, I prefer melee weapons over. Let me get this guy first. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Came up straight next to me. Um, yeah, the issue with melee weapons is that they take your stamina quite a bit. So if you have a hordes and hordes of zombies. You don't want to be meleeing. Okay. We need to run a little bit here. Alright, let's go. Oh. And one more. Okay, so you can see like my uh, vision has gone a bit black. That's because my stamina has gone down. So you can go around this map and collect um, a bunch of stuff, which we'll go through in a minute. Uh, my watch tells me how much time's left in it. Oh my days. <laughs> Stop talking, otherwise I'm going to lose in the wave one. Okay, and you. Nice. Also, with melee weapons, they have a um, finite amount of time, just like the actual game. So, as you can see, my stamina is way low right now. It does improve after time. Okay, so that's end of wave one. So, I can't tell how much time I want to say, around 30 seconds. You can see the timer going right now. I can start it now if I want to, but I want to use these 30 seconds just to get a few things here. So, I want, let's look at this knife. Yeah, you can see my stats up here as well, walkers killed. 
But we'll get to that in a bit because we are running out of time and I don't have enough weapons here. So I like this little, what is this, a cleaver? Let's go with this. Um, and let's get some meds here. Oh, I don't have enough bike coin. I've spent it all on my cleaver. Well, let's go. So for wave two, I wanna, let me just take these people out. Nice. Right, so with wave two, I'm gonna explore a little bit. So let's run around. Now for people concerned with motion sickness, I have turned um, nausea completely off. So I've got it on the, f on the full setting. If you do suffer from motion sickness, um, or with this game in particular, then I would recommend that you keep it on it, it adds like a vignette as you're running and it adds a vignette as you're walking as well but I've played this game too many times to need that now so as you can see there's various items I have a backpack as well that I can store some items as well I'm gonna need a bunch of these let's put the cleaver down and as you might realize that there's not many walkers in this wave so as far as I'm aware and Oh, I just noticed that hanging, <laughs> hanging person. Oh, nice. Yep, as far as I'm aware, um, there are walkers around. There's probably some on the other side where I was, but the thing is the waves are timed based. So if there's a bunch of walkers that you haven't killed and the time runs out, they just automatically die. So at the, the end of the end of the day, if you want more bike coins, if you want to earn more, you want to run around and start killing as many walkers as you can within the time frame. Now, as the t as the waves will get in more and more increased, I don't think you're gonna have a trouble finding any walkers, to be honest. So this one's been quite quiet. It's kind of more of a yeah. We're already done pretty much. But just get some ammunition, even though I haven't got a gun. It's still be good for. So you can explore that house, and we'll go into that house uh, in another wave. But right now, let's use this time just to quickly scavenge a few things. Because, I, like I said, I love melee weapons, so I want to keep stuff that has more stamina. Okay. Let's see if we can get anything else. Oh, sweet. Okay. So I can get Lucille if I wanted to, but we'll, we'll wait for Lucille. Let's get, um, let's have a look at this. Time noisemaker bomb, set it and forget it. And uh, no, let's, what else we got? A nail bomb, yeah, let's get one of those. Can I put the nail bomb here? Yeah, beauty. And then that's it. Let's begin. Okay. Oh, decapitation! <laughs> Look, at, okay, this probably makes me sound like a sick sicko, but hey, this is a bit of a zombie slaying simulator, so, you know. Look at that. I wonder if I can throw this at somebody. Use a bowling ball. Use my right hand here. Alright, come on, guys. Where are these guys at? I can hear you. Oh, there you are. Ready? Oh, man, I missed him. <laughs> Let's try and slice you. Yes. So if you slice like this way, you can decapitate him. And just eat him. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, let me see if I can hit you this time. Oh, it doesn't... <laughs> missing him. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. So with the decapitations, you also get extra points. And I'm gonna try and... Oh, nice. And yes, you can throw weapons as well, yeah. If you're familiar with this game, then you'll know about all these little cool aspects. You know, I wanna, I wanna use my rusty bat here. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. Sweet. All right, nice. Five kill streak here. Um, waves about to end. So you see this person. Wave is about to end. I want to show you what happens. 
Unless it kills me. Okay, it's gonna kill me. <laughs> and go. Oh man, there's two of them. See? <laughs> got a bit too cocky there. But um, yeah, so two of them just died. And I could have got the points if I killed them, but I just wanted to show you what happens. So let's get some health here. Let me use some, me use some meds here. Because... I am wounded. Let's get another one as well. Let's add that to the pack. Um, there's some bow and arrows there. There's a bunch of stuff that you can get. And there's also mystery stuff. So as you proceed, you can get more and more items. I really want this uh, grass clipper, which is a samurai sword. Takes 12 inches off the top. <laughs> yeah, how much Bitcoin do I need? Oh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, should I say? Right, quite a few, so. I need to go kill a few people in this one. So let's go into wave four. Now remember wave four is where I died last time I played this. Oh man. man. Okay. Gotta be more accurate with that. Nail thing. Okay. Let's um They're gonna come thick and fast now. So let's jump into this house and let's see what we have. Oh man. Really need some stamina. Oh god. Um I don't have any weapons. <laughs> I don't have any weapons. <laughs> Oh, this nail bomb though. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's that. <laughs> I was like, where is my nail? Nail Lucille. Okay, we need some. Uh, we need to patch up as soon as possible. Look at all these guys. Okay. All right. One. Okay, run, 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 run. So this is a problem with. Melee weapons. Okay, run. And one more. There we go. Okay, my stamina is it's gone. I need some juice immediately. Oh man. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gone quiet because I'm trying to focus here. Oh crap, run, 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 run. Oh man. Guys, I am going to die. Give me some more stamina immediately. Oh man. I don't have a weapon either. Crap, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> oh man. That was a close one. I should have died. So there we go. Like you gotta be very wary, um, wary of your stamina. And I know this is killing my health, but okay. Let's get some weapons because I have nothing. I'm completely unarmed in this zombie apocalypse, which is a terrible idea. So let's break out Lucille. Oh, the samurai sword available? No. There we are. Look at this beauty. Right. Um, med packets, med packets. What is this? Heals all the health damage. Uh, that's a good one, but let's get one of these instead. I really want a weapon that's like a potential gun, maybe? I can't, I still can't afford the gun. Damn it. Oh man. I can hear him and I don't like him. Okay, that was great. Um run, 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 go, 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 go. <coughs> ah. 
take that. Let's keep going. Wow, this, uh, I should realize this map is bigger than I thought. And I told you, Lucille. Uh-oh. 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 It broke. <laughs> Lucille broke. I don't have another weapon. Go, let's go, let's go. Oh my days. Give me these, I don't know what this is. Yeah, give me that stamina, I need stamina, I need stamina, go. Okay, 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 more and more. Just give me stamina. Actually, well, that was already, that was a waste of. This is also what happens. Um, I've got, still got tons of time left and I have nothing. I have no weapons. No health. Oh, we're back here. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Um, give me something, give me something. This bomb? That will do, that will do, that will do. That will do, that will do. Let's, let's get them all together. And go. Did I kill myself? No! <laughs> oh, man. I just had to run a bit further back. I didn't even do better than I did last time. Oh, man. Okay, so this is a cool thing right at the end. So we have... A little trackboard of like stats. So we have melee kills, add 30 melee kills, explosion kills, kill streaks, a score multiply bonus. That would have been, I would have got it if I didn't die. I just had to run away a little bit further and then throw it. Your bow and arrow kills, firearm kills, nothing. So I've only played this twice and I kind of realized now that melee weapons are probably not a great idea. It's probably at the start, but we need some lot of stamina to even do it. But there we go. There is my playthrough of The Walking Dead The Trial and so much fun. Uh, I really wish there was multiplayer in this, so it would be even better. And that's a wrap, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you made it all the way through this video. And don't forget to subscribe for some more videos just like this. I hope you enjoyed that gameplay. I wish that this gameplay had multiplayer support. I think that will make it just that extra little bit better. Every game with horde modes is so much better with some co-op play. So it's just missing that, I think, but hopefully it's coming in the future. That's all from me today. I'll see you this Friday for our next episode of Let's Talk Oculus. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Hit him out. <laughs>